The secret to the world's best chocolate chip cookies is cold butter. Throw it in a blender with your sugar and brrr, drop in an egg and vanilla and brrr. It's 7 p.m. in NYC, we've got to clap for the healthcare heroes. I'm using a giant pot to mix in my flour, baking soda, salt, and two cups of chocolate chips. Mate, get your hands in there. The recipe said baking paper, but I only have tin foil, so I'm buttering it, and then it's time for the oven. I only started baking two weeks ago, but these were so easy to make. The outside was firm, the inside was gooey. Try them at home. I like you. In order to keep Rupert from telling his siblings, I had to do whatever he said for a day. Uh, first was rock climbing. Then he said he wanted his own room, and I told him he could have the upstairs, but he said, no, I want the girls' room. The girls' room leads right out to the balcony, so I was not happy about that. So I moved the girls up, and then I put Rupert in his room, and we started to decorate. He wanted the walls to be all black. And then I asked him, what bed do you want? He said, no, I don't want a bed. Guys, this is seriously a disturbed grape. Then he wanted to watch an R-rated horror film. I couldn't even watch it. It was seriously so scary. He was just amused. Then he told me to put him in a bird feeder and then hang him up outside so when birds came, he could just like scream at them and, and scare them. While Rupert was outside scaring birds, they asked me why he was getting special treatment and I didn't know what to say. Hey guys, we're back. I'm in Raleigh and it's the day of this like dance thing that he asked me to, but he still doesn't have anything to wear. So we had to head over to the mall where he, we were looking for a turtleneck and it was actually such a difficult thing to find, but we found one each night. We headed over to Lululemon where we got a pair of shorts. Then we're going out there. So we found these hats and I felt like a drill sergeant, so I started doing marches. It was like 2 p.m. We still in Ian, so we stopped for lunch. I got tacos because I love tacos. Then I waited for Ian to try on these pants in another mall and they were like nice ish, but went over to HM, found a better pair. Then we went up the escalator and went back and flipped a switch, flip, flip, and we got ready for the dance. Then we head over to pictures and I met all friends and we went to dinner and he kind of looked like a priest can't lie and then we kept having competitions about who could like try all the cherry stems and knots and i kept winning and he was getting kind of like annoyed about it can't lie and i had this like bean burger it was honestly very 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 good and he had like some saying ah, what are you doing bro are you okay go off and here's us at the dance it was really 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 fun and i met all of his friends and they were all so nice and i can't wait to come back and i love everybody All right, got that next level vegan hitter. My, if minus the egg, don't use the egg if you want to keep it vegan or the mayonnaise. But everything else is is vegan if you use it properly, and then you eat it and it's delicious. Pine cone on me. So today I found out that black markers aren't actually black. They're actually a bunch of other colors all put together. Yeah, we've been lied to our whole lives. Here's how to teach your dog how to jump into your arms. Start kneeling and use a lure to guide the dog onto your lap. Use your other hand to grab him so he gets used to it. Repeat, but sit on something slightly higher, like a step. Jackpot as soon as he offers a full jump into your lap. Next, move to something even higher, like a chair. Now that he's got the idea, switch to a very low crouch. It'll take some practice learning how to time the catch. Last, you can move to standing fully upright. I usually still give him one leg to spring off of. I was scrolling through Daichi's TikToks and I realized I want to learn how to do a voiceover. So then I grabbed my mom's laptop because mine's broken and I searched it up and I found a really easy YouTube video. And then I decided to run upstairs and get snacks and film it at the same time. And then I went upstairs and it was really dark up there. So I decided to turn on the light so I could see. And then I went in the cupboard and I found Smarties and I was so excited because I love Smarties. So I grabbed a handful and shoved them all in my mouth. And then I dropped one on the floor so I decided to kick it under the cupboard. I'm just kidding. I'm a good child. So I actually threw it out in the garbage. And then I decided to catch one in my mouth and I actually got it. I was so shocked. I grabbed more Smarties, went downstairs, turned the lights off, and I put them on my desk. I realized I forgot to take my pills. So I took it and it got stuck in my throat. I caught on and again and then I put lotion everywhere by accident I realized I looked really ugly with the lotion on so I decided to actually rub it in this time and then I lost my glasses so I tore my bed apart trying to find them and then I found them under my pillow and then I ate more Smarties realized I looked ugly with glasses ripped my nose piercing out at the same time and then I got comfy in my favorite blanket and ate more Smarties realized I only had four left ate them to, on color coding and then I ate them all and they were all gone and I was sad and they hit me in, in the glasses and then I drank more water because I was dehydrated and then I watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine and went to bed night Pushing Daisies is a sweet little TV show about a boy named Ned who discovers he has the power to bring dead things back to life with just one touch. He used his power to bring his mother back to life after she suddenly died. His power came with a price. After one minute, whoever was in close proximity would then drop dead. This unfortunately happened to be the father of Charlotte Charles, aka Chuck, a young girl who lived across the street and whom Ned was positively in love with. Chuck was then raised by her reclusive aunts and Ned was sent off to boarding school. Years later, Ned opened his own cafe called The Pie Hole. Hey, Chris and Chenoweth! The only other person who knew Ned's secret was private detective Emerson 
Anderson caught because he saw Ned bring someone back to life. They decide to work together to solve crimes to bring the murdered people back to life for one minute in order to figure out who killed them. On one case, they go to a funeral home and discover Ned's long-lost love and neighbor Chuck had been murdered. He brings her back to life, but he just can't seem to let her go back to being dead. So they work together to solve crimes, all while having to avoid touching each other. It's a great show to binge watch as it has an amazing cast, great dialogue, incredible set design and costumes. I can't help but feel parallels to what we're all currently living in, given that Ned and Chuck love each other and can't even hold hands or kiss, but Hey guys, so as you all know, this is Ian, but this is my little sister Kate, and it was just her birthday. She's turning 12, so we decided to take her out. We got some tacos that were bomb as frick, and for her birthday, she had a skateboard, so we decided to take her uptown, Charlotte, and look for one. So we parked in this place that really said no parking because there was no other spots, and then Ian freaking ripped on the sign, this man started yelling at him, it was kind of stressful, went to the black sheep skate shop and looked around. She didn't really find anything that she liked, but it was pretty cool. And then they locked me out of the car, the little shits, they wouldn't let me in. I was like, bro, let me in, let me in. They were like, no, no, no. And then we cashed. We got a little recharge before we went to the gym. Lifted some heavy weights, got swole, and uh, we pumped some iron. I'm not even going to lie to you. Did uh, I think we did upper body. And then we played some basketball. I obviously didn't win, but I tried my best. I, I really did. I mean, come on, look at this effort. Then we drove home with the top down because it was so nice out. We got ready for dinner, and this was Ian's first time at Hibachi. I don't really know how you live your whole life and not go to a Hibachi restaurant. And then we went to Whole Foods with my family, and he got some chocolate milk. And here's my mom. Isn't she so cute? We ate cake together, and it was just such a good night. And we'll see you guys at our next event. People are always asking me for tips on how to be cool, and I'm like, just follow these five simple steps. Wear sunglasses at night. Have unique interests, so if they ask you if you like the new Drake, hit them with music? Nah, dog, I'm more into documentaries about tigers. One word, supreme. Everything was better back in the day. So when they tell you they're bummed about Coachella getting cancelled, you tell them. Coachella hasn't been cool since 2007. If you run out of things to say, always bring it back to Bieber. <laughs> I don't know, I love that guy. People that don't have OCD, this is what they think it looks like. Oh, oh no, um, um, okay, uh, that- Okay, uh, yeah, uh, and it was like that, that one out, uh, uh yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay, yes! No, this is what it's actually like. Oh, that one felt good. 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 I make a trip to Petco today because I ran out of cat litter. Having three cats, they tend to shit a lot. Then I stumbled across this cute little baby. He was sleeping, so I decided to leave him alone. So cute. And I found these sweaters for sale, and I had to get the barely awake one. So I threw it in my car, and I continued along with my journey to get cat litter. I use a reusable kind because, you know, save the environment. On this process, oddly satisfying, and I don't know why. So I was walking around the corner, I heard a sound. It's a cute little doggo and the lady let me pet it, which was really nice. I found these bones for my dogs, and I was like, eh, probably not because bones are bad. Should always say yes to helping homeless pets. I finally got home and I was super excited to put this cute little sweater on my cats. He was definitely not having it at all. As you can see, she was being a complete little brat, not cooperating very well at all. This was definitely a long process, but I finally got it. And look how adorable she is. And then she starts acting all dramatic, like look at her. You would think she was wasted. So I took it off her and then she attacked it. And then I looked over there at Balderson who was just minding his own business. I put it on him anyway. He ran away and here he is underneath my table. I had to crawl under there and get him myself so I could take it off of him. I gave him a little pet first. There's me, pissed the hell off. Hey guys, so this might actually be really hard to believe, but if you add sweet potatoes to brownies, you literally can't taste them and it makes it so much healthier and so good. So roast these babies up till they can peel the skin. Then you're gonna preheat oven to 350 degrees. Mash these suckers up and we have a nice little mixture here. Then we're gonna plop that in, kind of satisfying, and we're gonna start. So we have our two eggs, which I cracked with one hand because I'm, you know, hella talented. Almond milk because we use cow's milk around here. Maple syrup, which makes them sweet, but you can add sugar if you want to. I just prefer maple syrup because it's like more natural. And almond butter, which keeps it creamy and you don't have to use extra oil. Then I'll extract gave it a nice flavor this kind of looked like yuke i'm not gonna lie then i mix it up and almond extract my secret ingredient this is a game changer i i can't live without it set that aside we're gonna start dry ingredients gluten-free flour because i'm a bitch and can't handle regular flour almond flour which soaks up everything and makes it a really good texture and keeps them soft cocoa powder because they're brownies you can add as much as you want baking soda some salt to like balance it out and we're gonna combine the two we have a nice little batter here kind of chunky but you know put it in the oven 350 degrees till it's ready and then this is your healthy brownies guys hope you enjoy chili So my eye started watering and it does this sometimes when I lay down and Theo thought I was crying and put his paw on my face and got extremely close to my nose with his nose. Then I started to laugh and accidentally woke him up and he got mad. <laughs> 
Well, Juno shit in Brett's truck the other day and then tracked it all over her favorite toy, Clarice. So I decided to wash her off. And uh, you're probably wondering why I didn't just put her in the washer. Well, Clarice has a huge hole in her ass, so she would literally explode. Anyways, here's me cleaning my hands after washing the poop off of her. And now I'm going to trim up her butt. And so we're back together. You're probably wondering why I don't just go and buy Juno a new toy. Well, I'll explain to you that Clarice hits different. Juno got Clarice for Christmas a couple years ago from someone who is no longer with us, and I didn't want to throw her away. So after I fixed up Clarice's ass, I brought her into the laundry room and I threw her right in the washer. Yeet! And then I turned the washer on like a normal person and I went and washed my hands again because, you know, poop. Didn't want the poop on me. After all that, she was ready to go in the dryer and then she was ready to come out of the dryer. So I brought her up to Juno and Juno was really happy that Clarice never had a hole in her ass anymore and didn't have any shite on her. The end. So I was scrolling through my For You page yesterday and I came across this guy, Sam the Sweaty Boy, who said that these super simple looking paintings were selling for hundreds of dollars, so he made his own and started the bidding at 250 Then today he said the highest bid was $13,000. Of course I thought he was lying, so I checked eBay. Turns out he was. The highest bid was $18,000. Needless to say, that was enough proof for me to get in my car and go to Michael's. I got the supplies, brought them back to my house, and started painting the canvas black and making a rig to hold the paint. I decided to do one of those pendulum paintings you see on the For You page all the time, and while it was swinging back and forth, I went on eBay and found something that looked like it belonged in Squidward's house selling for $1,800, and another one selling for $400. Now, it almost sounds too good to be true, but I finished the painting anyways and posted it on eBay with a starting bid of $251. Wish me luck. Waking up this morning, I had no idea today was going to be the day that Adam was going to pop the question. We loaded up the dogs and we headed down to the trail for a fun family walk. We had a lot of great times, but then this happened, guys. I can't believe it. Hey, babe. Yeah? We've been spending a lot of time together lately. Yeah? This place is really beautiful. This just seemed like the right time. Oh, my God. Will you divorce me? Absolutely. I thought you would never uh. ask. Oh, it's going to be such an amazing life without you. I don't love you anymore. Okay. Bye. <laughs> this is my dad's sweater that I stole a few years ago, and I got a stain on it. So I tried to remove the stain, and well, it bleached it. But you know what fixes bleach? Even more bleach. Before bleach, I have to make some sort of design, make a plan. So I scrunched it, and I elastic it, and put it in my bathtub so I don't get bleach everywhere. Then I soaked the sucker with a lot of water. Make sure everything was soaking wet. Don't know if this was necessary, but I did it anyway. Then I did a one-to-one -one bleach and water ratio and just doused the sucker. Just put bleach all over it. Realized a lot of dye was coming out for a blue sweater. Then I realized a lot of dye was coming out for a blue sweater. Waited five-ish minutes, give or take. I didn't time it. Rinse all of the bleach out. Take the elastics out. Put some detergent in there you know, swishy, swishy, whatever, call it a day. That's what it looked like wet. And then this is what it looked like dry the next day. I would say that the mission is accomplished. Ever wonder what to do when you put a hole in the wall with your skateboard? You take this tape, and then you, you, you put it on the wall. There we go. And then you take this fabric paint right here and apply with your finger. It didn't work. My dog is pretty weird. Here he is using his snout to get water all over his food until it's like soup. Then he'll test it with his nose to make sure that it is wet enough, go away for a few hours, and then come back and then eat it all and do it all over again for each meal time. I don't know why he does it, but it's just how he rolls. I've been switching schedules with my parents in my last TikToks, and recently they got in a little bit of an argument on whose schedule was actually harder, so we decided that them themselves were going to switch schedules. And this is how it went. Yeah, got the list, vacuuming, vac oh, look, big fur ball, got a big fur ball. <laughs> okay, I got to do the dishes now, load the dishwasher, up. all right, laundry, got to do the laundry now, putting the colors in, up, uh, few whites, uh, uh, who cares. Going for a walk with Reed. Painting the cabinets, and that was mom's. Wasn't too hard. Ah, oh, made some coffee. Then I pulled out my phone so we could get 70,000 followers on TikTok. Mom, it's, it's okay. You don't have to you don't have to do that. But I want you to get 70,000 followers. All right, all right, back to the video. Then I had a shower to wake up. Ron always has toast for breakfast with peanut butter. I brought him coffee in bed like he always does with me every morning. 
Now it's go time. Wax the truck. Water his tomatoes. And true to form, afternoon nap. With cats. Oh, uh, what a day.